We're predicting an above normal Atlantic hurricane season this year, with the possibility that the season could be extremely active. Specifically, the outlook calls for a 70% chance of an above normal season, a 25% chance of a near normal season, and only a 5% chance for a below normal season. For the season as a whole, NOAA is predicting a 70% chance for each of the following ranges of activity. 13 to 20 named storms, 7 to 11 hurricanes, and 3 to 6 major hurricanes. These ranges are well above the long-term average, and they reflect the forecast for an above normal, possibly very active season. This outlook does not predict when, where, or how many storms may strike land, but during active hurricane seasons like we expect this year, the probability of multiple hurricane strikes increases for both the United States and the entire region around the Caribbean Sea. The outlook for this year is typical of the active hurricane seasons we've been seeing since 1995. In this current high activity era, the number of hurricanes has increased by 60% compared to the 1971 to 1994 period. The number of major hurricanes has more than doubled since 1995. A substantial body of climate research has shown that a stronger West African monsoon combined with warmer Atlantic waters are the main factors contributing to this high activity era. The monsoon season in Western Africa has been stronger and wetter than it was between 1971 and 1994. The West African monsoon often gives rise to the thunderstorms that eventually become hurricanes. Those storms are more likely to strengthen and become tropical storms and hurricanes when the Atlantic Ocean waters are warmer. Water temperatures throughout the Atlantic hurricane region have been warmer than average during the past 18 years. In contrast, Atlantic Ocean temperatures were cooler during the low activity era before 1995. For this upcoming hurricane season, NOAA's most sophisticated climate model predicts the Atlantic to be warmer than average again this year. That model also predicts the Pacific to have cooler water, so El Nino is not expected to form. Typically, El Nino acts to reduce the Atlantic hurricane activity. This combination of an enhanced West African monsoon, warmer Atlantic Ocean temperatures, and the absence of El Nino are the primary factors behind NOAA's 2013 Atlantic hurricane season outlook. We will continue to monitor evolving conditions in the ocean and atmosphere throughout the Atlantic hurricane season. The bulk of the hurricane activity is expected to occur during August, September, and October, so NOAA will update this outlook in early August. When a hurricane or tropical storm forms, the National Hurricane Center tracks every storm and issues landfall forecasts that are specific to each storm. The Hurricane Center issues these forecasts up to a week in advance. Please evacuate if you are asked to do so. Your preparations and your common sense will go a long way to helping you and your family stay safe this hurricane season. And please don't be complacent. It's just too late to begin your preparations once a hurricane is already approaching.